Welcome to this video that's going to guide you through getting set up with FTK and your 30 day trial license. FTK or Forensic Toolkit is a software platform that allows you to analyze data from computers as well as mobile devices and peripheral devices that would plug into both. So if you're interested in the 30 day demo, stick around and we'll guide you through it in this video. What you want to do is go to www.extero.com slash FTK free trial. On this webpage, you'll see a bunch of information related to how to install the free trial, how to get set up, everything. But what you want to do first is click this link to download FTK 8.0. That's going to activate the download of the FTK underscore 8.0.0 trial.iso. This is the one that you need to use with the trial. If you pull the one down from the downloads page, it will not work with the trial license. So make sure that you're getting this one from the trial page. When that gets downloaded, you'll go into your downloads directory or wherever you have your downloads set to go to. And you'll see you have FTK standalone as a disk image file. Go ahead and double click on that. Open. You can click on the auto run application. What you want to do is install forensic tools, 64 bit. A couple things while this unloads is that you do need to be on windows to install this. We only, we only have FTK for windows. The other thing you do need to be on 64 bit, but that shouldn't be an issue considering it is 2023 as of the recording of this video and you do need to have administrator rights in order to install and run FTK. So we'll click next. Accept the license agreement after you read it, of course. You'll see the system requirements splash screen. Make sure that you have at least the minimum. It says recommended. That is recommended as a minimum. You should have as much as you can possibly get to make your cases run quicker better, more efficient, all that sort of stuff. Okay, this is the recommended minimum. We'll go ahead and click next. Notice that we're going to install Postgres SQL. Postgres SQL is the default database backend for FTK. You'll see the port number here is 5432 and the default password is AD at password. We'll keep the default. However, notice you can configure a custom one. Click next. Now for the purposes of this installation, we're going to leave it at the defaults. Notice that it installs all of them on the C drive. You can select this and customize where they go. For a full installation, production installation, not a trial, I would recommend customizing your install options and making sure that you put your processing engine and your database on different drives. This will maximize your IO capabilities, allowing FTK to run as quickly as possible. For this, we're just gonna load it all into one. However, again, full production, you would want your evidence processing engine and your database on different drives. Click next. Username, specify your username, domain and host name, you can do a password. Once you put some administrator credentials into the user credentials page, go ahead and click next. Go ahead and click install and FTK will begin installing your software. Once it's done, click finish. You should restart. Once the restart has completed and you're back in, go ahead and open up a file explorer. Go to local disk C, program files, access data, forensic tools, 8.0, bin, Scan down and find DB config. Go ahead and open up DB config. We're going to add a configuration. We want to switch it over to Postgres. We're going to create a database. The system password, remember we set the default, is AD, the at symbol, capital P A S S W O R D. We'll set our administrator password as 123 and confirm the password as one, two, three, and we'll hit create. 
Once that completes, go ahead and close down dbconfig. You can close down the Windows Explorer. Once you've initialized the database, we need to get a fingerprint of the machine to authenticate the license. So what we're gonna do for that, open up a web browser, type in HTTPS colon backslash backslash localhost 4443 and hit enter. You'll see here to get the system fingerprint. No data is transferred in this. It takes a unique signature and generates this information. Click here to generate the system fingerprint. We get our fingerprint and go ahead and click copy. To get to the FTK trial license manager, type in Xtero FTK licensing service .info. That'll take you to this page. First thing we need to do is verify that you have a valid email. So we're gonna go ahead and type our name and email, and then we will click verify. Once this button turns blue, we know our email is verified and we can continue through the form. The verify button will turn blue after you receive an email and click on the verify email link. Once the button turns blue and says verified, we can fill out the rest of the information. We'll say Xtero Marketing United States. We'll skip the phone number. We'll put in our fingerprint and we'll click submit. So at this point, it's going to be sent to Xtero and they will get you your license via email shortly. Your trial key will appear in an email that will actually be from Xtero. I had to forward it over to a different machine, so it looks like this, but this will be your trial key. You're going to go ahead and you're going to copy that trial key out of here. Copy. Then you're going to go back into FTK. We'll launch FTK 8.0. Say yes to continue to FTK. We're gonna put in our license key, paste it and register. New license registration completed successfully. Click okay and okay. It says it'll expire in 30 days. Click yes. We'll go ahead and log in. Administrator, one, two, three. And we're logged in and create a new case. And you're ready to try out FTK 8.0.